All right, Nick, let's head on down to Los Angeles to talk about the Southern Cal Trojans. Spring ball is here. Players are playing. Everyone is looking at practice. And some guys are starting to stand out to head coach Lincoln Riley. He has taken notice of a few key guys. And I think there's some big news today for the Trojans fans. Yeah, my, this is a very interesting report you found that I think is a great sign for Trojan fans, a real weakness of the team that maybe is becoming a strength going forward. But before we get into that, we want to hear from USC fans in the comment section below as we're working through spring ball to figure out what players are ready to step up. Let's take a step back and look at the Trojans offseason. Obviously, did a heck of a job recruiting, has good transfer guys come in, and we want to hear from you guys, the Trojan fans. You guys are really plugged in. We know you guys are really savvy fans. Give us your grade of the Trojans offseason up to this point, whether it's an A plus or a D minus or somewhere in between. Let us know how you think the Trojans have done this offseason in terms of retooling their roster as they push themselves toward the college football playoff. Give us your grade in the comment section below. But all right, Miles, what you got? What's the latest out of uh, what's the latest out of LA? Excuse me. Yeah, Nick. So there's a lot of really big stuff going on. You say the latest out of LA. There's a lot of stuff going on. First of all, people are saying that LA, the in LA, the Trojans could be a team that is primed to make the college football playoff for the first time in their history uh, since the inception of the program. So that was some very interesting news. But even more interesting than that, Nick, is the comments Lincoln Riley made about young cornerback Sire Wright saying that he is primed to have a big-time breakout year this year. And some people might say, wait, my, Nick, what are you talking about? This guy started nine games last season. How can he break out? Well, Lincoln Riley said the same thing, but he has made a bigger difference this spring ball season than any other player on the defense side of the ball. He really has come out of his shell and shown to be an elite level player, Nick. What do you think about Sire Wright and his upcoming potential breakout season and the comments that Riley has been saying? So I'm going to um, deal with uh, Riley's comments first. The fact that Lincoln Riley, we talked about this a few weeks ago, is so clearly focusing on defense is a great sign for Trojans fans, a welcome sign considering how poor at times they've been at defense last year. In fact, it's frankly the only reason they didn't make the playoff last year. So the fact that Riley is very vocal and very focused on the defensive side of the ball is a great sign for Trojan fans. And two, I think it's also a statement that he's looking at Alex Grinch, his defensive coordinator, and he says, hey, listen, man, you got to step up and do a better job because if not, you're probably going to be gone going to 2024. So, and I know a lot of Trojan fans are really uh, disappointed with how Grinch coached last season. So again, the fact that Riley is focusing so much on the defensive side of the ball is a great sign. He's not just siloing himself to his natural uh, side of the ball in terms of offense. So in terms of his overall focus, that's a great sign from Lincoln Riley. But I also want to uh, circle back to Sire right here for a second. So one of the things people don't understand, and for those who, who don't watch a lot of the show, I played small-time college football in my day. During the season, it is just a chaotic just environment. Practice, film, games, practice, film, games. And of course, low class in there too, right? And so you just don't have a lot of opportunity to get better. You're kind of just surviving the entire year. No matter how good you are, whether you're a senior or freshman, the, 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 the college season itself is just a grind. It's just a chaotic environment. You know, one day you're in calculus class, the next day you're on a, you're on a trip to some rival opponent, and then the very next day you're, you're in the weight room squatting 400 pounds, right? It's just a, just a crazy back and forth environment where it's really hard to improve and get better. In the off season, in winter and spring, that's where you have time to really focus on your craft, improve yourself in the weight room, focus on some weakness, build flexibility, build strength, work on your technique, watch film, and then go out and spring ball and apply those things and really take that leap. And that's why I'm really excited to see in Wright's case here, a guy who's taken the time clearly to work on his weaknesses and improve on his strengths and become an overall better player. Because if he's a guy that can become an elite level defensive back, that's all the Trojans really need. Because how good their offense is with Caleb Williams, they can drop 40, 45 on anybody. They just need to be a little bit more consistent on defense in terms of getting some key stops. Maybe a key pick here, a third down deflection, or, or if it's from a pass rush or a sack or, a, or blowing up a short yardage play, something like that. That's all the Trojans really need to get there. Because I think that's really held them back in their losses against Utah. They didn't have an ability, a guy to come up and make a big play in a big moment. And if Wright, look, and it seems he is, if Wright can become that guy, this Trojan team could be dangerous. And I think they're probably the Pac-12 champion if they can get a couple key defensive stops in big games. So this is a great sign for Trojan fans. They may be well on their way to improving off the last season.